Today we're looking at cleaning point clouds from manual, automatic and semi-automatic ways. Welcome back to my channel. Today we want to have a look at how to clean point clouds. So what is the best way? Manual, automatic or semi-automatic way? Let's have a look at the end and what we can do with our clean data. First on our list, manual cleaning. In order to do manual clean, select your point cloud and use the clean separate tool in the cleaning tab. So here we have different selection modes what we can choose from. We have a lasso mode, we have polygon, a rectangle or a circle which helps us to clean our data. We simply select it and then we say we want to delete it, want to keep it or we want to split our data. And this we can do overall but when it comes to changes in our geometry it might be not the easiest way to exactly click what we want. A trick, we can use a limit box or slices. We can activate it by simply use control and space and we can deactivate it or make it invisible using simply escape. So this will help us that we can go more in detail when it comes to manual cleaning. So again, control space, we can get it back and we can also edit our clip here by hovering over the site and can continue. Secondly, we're looking at auto cleaning. When it comes to cleaning tunnels, we can use a cleanup tunnel tool directly embedded in Cyclone 3DR, which gives us a couple of options. The extraction step, keep uh, the details. We will see in a moment what this phone will give us. And do we want to uh, divide our point cloud? into inside and outside part. So we can see when we say details, the details along our side wall will now stay. If we untick it, we will see those will disappear mostly. But if we have a look a little bit closer into detail, we can still see that some of the edges along our tunnel are still there. So I like to get to take more control over it and just want to have a clean surface. Or third option, semi-automatic cleaning. So here you take a little advantage of a best fitted cylinder in my tunnel and I use the cylinder to actually clean it by using the separate according distance. So here we can use a threshold, our cleaning tolerance, to how close or far away I still want to keep the details. I can click preview and you can easily see we now divide our point out into inside and outside of our tolerance. For this example, this is what I want to have in this particular project. I want to just have the clean shell of the tunnel wall to use this data to use further analysis. That bears the question, what's next? What can we do with the data? Here I use the design model and create a heat map to see how good it fits together. The heat map can be, for example, unrolled as a 2D deliverable, or a lot of people still like to get a 2D representation, a section through it with a deviation uh, between the design and the S build. To sum up, each of the cleaning options has their own advantages, but it also means you can easily mix, match and choose the appropriate option depending on your desired task. Hope you liked it. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, let me know what you want to see next and subscribe to my channel. See you next time.